What's good, peeps? Errol Spence has um, caused a bit of a stir over social media saying he would have beaten Floyd Mayweather, which has obviously pissed off a lot of Floyd Mayweather fans. I'm just trying to find the exact article and what he said so I don't misquote him. He was on um, a podcast called All the Smoke with uh, Matt Barnes and uh, Stephen Jackson. Those are uh, retired NBA players, if you didn't know. Um, he said, 100% focused in my prime, I think I would beat Floyd. Um, he went on to say, Floyd is very mentally tough. You know, I would cut him off. I would use my jab a lot. A lot of people, like even the Oscar De La Hoya fight, should have used his jab a lot more. I would use my jab. I would throw combinations. I would work the body and then work the head. Because a lot of people, they go to the head and then work the body. But if you go for the head and then you can't hit him in the head, and then, you know, you can't hit him, hit him in the head. Okay, so I think he's basically saying that a lot of people headhunt with Floyd, right? And Floyd, obviously, very elusive with his head. So he said he would go to the body. So I would work the body uh, the most, then work the head, and just try to break him down physically because I know he's not breaking down mentally. He's just like one of these tough fighters, just like Sean Porter. You're not going to break him down mentally. You can break him down physically, but mentally he's always going to be there. So we'll just try to break him down physically. Interesting. Um, did he go on to say anything else? Probably has in the podcast, but you know what articles are like. They only pick out the bits that you want, they want you to read. So yeah, basically he's saying in his prime, he would beat Floyd Mayweather. 100% focused Errol Spence in his prime beats Floyd. Now look, firstly, I actually don't have a problem with him saying that. Um, I, I, I don't, right? I think he obviously um, believes in himself and he thinks the best Errol Spence can beat Floyd. No problem with that. Um, I think Deontay Wilder, um, before he got beat by Tyson Fury, said, you know what, I would have beaten Mike Tyson. I think he actually mentioned other heavyweights. No problem with that. Um, whether you can is another thing altogether. But again, I don't mind fighters having this belief in themselves that they can. Remember, Errol Spence is an unbeaten uh, double belt holder at 147. He, he has a right to think he can beat some of the best or greats from another era. Obviously, Floyd being probably the best from um, another era. But um, let's be honest, he can't, right? I, I don't think Errol could beat Floyd at 147. It's a tough fight, by the way. I mean, I think I've seen a lot of responses uh, by people on social media acting like Floyd would just uh, run through Errol Spence. No siree. No siree. I mean, Errol's a big boy. Errol can box. Errol can punch. I don't think he has the best movement, but he's got movement. He's got a good jab. And um, he's a big 147. He's a very big 147. So, Look, he will cause Floyd problems, but Floyd being Floyd will make the adjustments. It's true. He will make the adjustments. Maybe Errol's taken something from the fact that they had that now infamous sparring session, right? Where if you ask Errol about it, he doesn't really reveal too much, but he says he handled himself well. He saw he handled himself well. And I think Floyd came out of it with a bit of a black eye. So he probably touched Floyd a bit. And maybe he's getting something from that. And let's not forget, that was Errol... I think prior to Kell Brooks, that was Errol prior to becoming a world champion. So um, Errol's probably thinking that wasn't 60% of the best me and I done very well against Floyd and sparring. So he's probably taken something from that. Um, I will say this though. I mean, I look at Floyd's record as to who Floyd fought at um, 147. Let's quickly get Floyd's box re record up. I think Errol could beat the majority of these guys, if I'm honest with you. Um, let's have a look. So let's go at uh, title fights first. So Zab Judah, could Errol beat that Zab Judah? It's a tough fight, tough fight. Bear in mind though, there is a Zab Judah that lost to Carlos Boldemir. I would say that before Floyd fought him. Um, Zab Judah is a fast starter, really fast, right? But um, if he doesn't get you out of there, and I don't think he would get Errol out of there, you can start to break him down. Floyd done that, Cotto done that. Don't get me wrong, these are elite welterweights at the time, but you can break him down. So I think I, think I would go for Errol over Zab, although Zab would cause him problems. Carlos Boldemir next, Errol would beat Carlos Boldemir. Then Floyd stepped up to fight Oscar, so that was not at 147. Ricky Hatton at 147, I think Errol's too big, uh, way too big. 
One man, well, Marquez at 147. Really? I mean, Marquez is a fantastic boxer, but I mean, he's tiny. Uh, Shane Mosley, that Shane. Yes, I think Errol would beat that Shane. That's a 38, 39 year old Shane. Victor Ortiz, he would smoke. Miguel Cotto, 2012 Miguel Cotto, he's beaten. Sorry, that wasn't even at. That wasn't even at 147, so that was at 154, so let's scrap that, although it was a catchweight. Uh, Robert Guerrero, he's beating Robert Guerrero. Now, these two, I think, are the biggest problems. Marcus Maidana and obviously Manny Pacquiao. He's beating Andre Berto as well, by the way. So I think he's beating 90% of the fighters that Floyd beat at 147. So when everyone acts like it's a foregone conclusion, well, he's beating the guys that Floyd would beat at 147 anyway. Marcus Maidana, though, is a big problem. Marcus Maidana... Uh, that's that's an acid test for um, Errol Spence, a big acid test. And so is Manny Pacquiao. In fact, I would pick 2015 Manny Pacquiao to beat Errol Spence. And that's Pacquiao a couple of years past his electric best, right? Um, so Marcus Maidan is a problem. So basically what I'm getting at is that for those people that are online saying, oh, Floyd would run past him. No, he wouldn't run. He wouldn't do all those things. He wouldn't, right? Um, Floyd would beat him. It would be competitive. Floyd would win the rounds. And then Floyd, I think, would go away in the latter round. So 10, 11, 12. But it would be a competitive fight because Errol is very, very strong and very, very big. And he's still quite mobile. And I think Errol mentally is quite strong as well. I think Floyd was able to break a lot of these fighters down because mentally they were quite weak. You think of like some Victor Ortiz in there, Zab Judah in there. But I think um, Errol's built a bit differently. So look, I have no problems with Errol saying he can do something. Saying it and being able to do it it's two different things, though. But um, don't dismiss Errol's talents and elevate Floyd's as though it's a, a walk in the park fight for Floyd. It's no walk in the park fight. Floyd would win, guys. Granted, I know that. But don't say it's a walk in the park because it certainly isn't. Peace. I'm back. Um, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, please like and share the videos. It really does help the channel a lot. And if you want to support the channel, I do have a Patreon account. The link is in the description. All right, I'm done. Peace.